So you've been hooking up with this guy, but you can't help but realize that you're just a booty call. The problem is that you like him a lot, so you don't want to call it off. So how do you make him commit to you and a relationship? Hey ladies, my name is Amy North, and I'm a relationship coach from Vancouver, BC. Today I want to talk about some tips to turn things around and go from booty call to girlfriend. Believe it or not, this is something I get asked about often, so if you're in this situation, then don't worry, you're not alone. Before I share with you some powerful ways to shift the power from him to you, I want to quickly ask that if you enjoy what you learn here today, then please show your support by subscribing to my YouTube channel. I'll really appreciate it and it'll allow me to keep coming out with more videos for you. Now that that's out the way, let's jump into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is establish the fact that you are in fact a booty call. To do so, ask yourself how much time and effort he puts into seeing you, what time of day he calls you, and what you do when you are together. If you're noticing a pattern of needing to hook up with little to none emotional connection from him, then I hate to say it, but darling, he's only in it for the goods. So yes, you are a booty call. That's okay though, because the first step to making him commit to you is to realize this yourself. Next, you'll want to become less available. In other words, don't meet up whenever it's convenient for him, but instead show him that you have your own life and that you're not sitting around waiting for him to call. Now, you may be thinking, but Amy, I really like this guy, and if I stop being free when he calls, I won't see him anymore. Well, there's a slight possibility that's true. What's more likely to happen is this. He'll start missing you. If you can show the guy you're into that you have a full and exciting life, he'll want to be a part of it. So next time he calls and asks to come over, tell him that you're busy and then suggest getting together another day. Even if you have nothing on the go, telling him that you do and making him wait to see you will keep you on his mind. When it comes to suggesting plans with him, switch things up. For instance, if your hangouts have only been in the privacy of his home or yours, then ask him to grab dinner with you sometime, or suggest that you go for a stroll through the park. If you can get him to spend time in public with you, you'll have a better idea of whether or not you'll be able to get him to commit to a relationship with you. Now that I've established all this, I'm going to share with you perhaps the most important tip I have for you, and that's to avoid giving him the benefits of a relationship without committing to one. While sex is a huge part of this, there's more to the picture here. Depending on your personal situation, you may be hooking up with this guy and only sharing a physical connection. In this case, you're going to want to pull back on giving him the goods and tell him that you're looking for something more serious, a deeper connection if you will. If, however, you have been hooking up without a commitment and sharing an emotional connection, then this is where it gets tricky. See, a key aspect of having a relationship with someone is having that person as someone you can talk to and confide in. Someone who will listen to your hopes and dreams, worries and stresses, if you're already doing all this for him without making him commit to you, then guess what? He's getting the best bits of a relationship without having to commit to one. So in this case, if you want to make you his girlfriend, then again, you're going to have to pull back everything you're giving him and give him a taste of what life without you and those perks is like. Once he realizes how much of a role you actually play in his world, he'll be much more likely to make you his. Well, that does it for this video. I hope you found what I shared helpful. If you have any other tips for switching from his booty call to his girlfriend, then please share those in the comment section below, as well as any questions you might have for me. Again, to show your support for my channel, please hit the subscribe button below and check out my other dating advice videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.